The FDA could authorize the Pfizer vaccine later on this week. Today, the state announced the 11 facilities that will get them first in North Carolina. Wake Forest Baptist Health is the only one in the triad on this list. These facilities will act as distribution sites. Cone Health says it will receive a portion from the sh of the shots from Wake starting next week. WFMY News 2's Grace Holland shows you how Cone Health is preparing to distribute those shots. Cone Health will get a helping hand with storing Pfizer's vaccine thanks to High Point University. The freezer you see in this picture here may look normal, but it can reach those ultra cold temperatures that that vaccine needs for storage. Soon it will be on its way to Moses Cone Hospital. It's very timely. Um, I, I did a happy dance. This High Point University super cold freezer could arrive at Cone Health just days before the first Pfizer vaccines head to North Carolina. I'm hopeful that we will get at least a thousand or close to a thousand doses. Cone's chief pharmacy officer, Dr. Deanne Brooks, says the freezer can hold about 975 doses of the vaccine before they're given out in phase one of the state's vaccine distribution. The first phase will be distributed to employees who are at the highest risk of exposure to COVID-19. Between 100,000 and 117,000 doses will go to healthcare workers. Our health at work team will vaccinate our employees similar to what we do with our flu vaccine. Then long-term care staff and residents. State health officials say it it could take weeks to finish phase one, but the vaccine will be free to everyone. Keep in mind, Pfizer's vaccine will require two doses. Many are anxious to get the vaccine. Some may even be apprehensive, but I talked to a triad man who says he's participating in one of the vaccine trials and now has immunity. I'll show you what he says you need to know coming up at six.